Hey, what is up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I have a very exciting set of discs here to share with you guys. You probably already know from the title, I have the Tour of Terror Halloween MVP and Axiom Drops. We've got our first ever look at a premium pixel. We have the Eclipse Pixel. I got one with a nice, beautiful, swirly, neutron style rim. I've been wanting a premium pixel ever since I got my hands on my first ever electron firm and soft pixels. And I've been throwing the heck out of my pixels and they've held up okay, but I've always wanted to see how a premium pix pixel flies. So I'm super pumped to throw this guy. The stamp looks absolutely beautiful. This is the Simon Lazat. It's got the Massachusetts. I'm surprised they didn't sneak an axolotl in here somewhere. Maybe I'm missing it, but would have been cool to see a little hidden axolotl in there somewhere. And then there's some things in here that I don't fully understand. The next up, we've got the Eclipse Wave. This is the Silva Saarinen Eclipse Wave. This is the flattest wave I've ever seen in my life. And it also has the highest parting line of any wave I've ever seen in my entire life. So I do actually think this is going to wind up being one of the more stable runs of wave, but I'm really excited to actually throw it and see how that theory holds up. But very good looking stamps. We already know MVP that is one of the best to do it during the Halloween season. And so far, I'm not disappointed at all. These discs look and feel incredible. Now, right next to the pixel, we've got the James Conrad Eclipse Detour. The Detour is one of my all time favorite mid neutral mid ranges. And I'm really curious to see how this compares to a stock Detour, which I did actually bring one out today. So we'll get to compare the new Detour to the um, stock detour, which I'm really excited to do that comparison as well. And then last but not least, maybe least for me, but <laughs> we've got the Eagle McMahon Fission Pyro. To me, this is the least exciting of the drops here, but I do actually think of the bunch, this is probably my favorite stamp. This like flying gargoyle thing just looks very, very cool to me. And I like that they put everybody's hometown and home country on each of their signature molds. So we'll start it off with the pyro and then we'll hit the detour. Actually, let's start off with the pixel. The pixel is the one I'm honestly just like, I've been wanting this for so long and it just honestly feels awesome. It feels, you never know when you take a disc you're used to baseline and throw it in premium, how it's actually going to be. I'm really curious to see how a premium pixel flies. First throw, premium pixel. Let's do it. <laughs> needed a lot more height. That was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> it's pretty cold out here, so I need to get my act together. Let's throw Eagle's Pyro here. Stable and dumpy. That's what we're expecting from a Pyro. Now we've got the Glow Detour. This is going to be our first ever look at the Glow Detour. Let's see how flippy or how stable this guy is. Oh, that thing goes forever. Probably a bit more stable than a stock detour. I'm gonna grab my stock detour after I throw this wave here. All right, let's see how this wave flies. I do think this is gonna be a stable wave. Yeah. Most overstable wave I've ever seen in my life by far. So if those of you who like the wave, if you want a beefy one, the Silva Saarinen Tour of Terror wave is spooky amounts of overstable compared to other waves. And we're just gonna throw a stock detour just to see how they compare. Ah, they flew pretty similar. It is a little gusty out here, so that's gonna affect the flights a little bit. But the Tour of Terror detour definitely went quite a bit farther. Let's go gather everything up. We'll throw it back the other way. So far, they're all flying really nice. This is the uh, MVP helicopter. They see me reviewing the discs day before release. They're out to get me. So on those first throws, we had a nice brisk tailwind coming in. Now we're gonna throw back into a pretty brisk headwind. This is gonna be the real test of stability for all these discs for me when Really seeing how they fly into the headwind. Let's give the pixel a little bit of height and just trust it not to uh, burn over on me. Oh, that's a beefy pixel. That is an absolute beauty. 
of a pixel. I'm so happy that that is a bit more stable than my Electron pixels. I'm a big fan of having a premium version of your putting putter that you also throw. I just feel like you're so used to the feel of your putting putter because it spends so much time in your hands. That comfort has to translate into throwing that mold well. But that's just my opinion. All right, we got the Eagle McMahon Pyro. And I saw Eagle McMahon throwing these on a video. He's getting them to like hyzer flip and turn, but he throws like 30 miles, miles an hour faster than me. So it sounds about right that that's gonna fly so much more stable for us mere mortals. So now we're gonna throw the stock detour followed by the eclipse detour. This is, again, this is a comparison I was really curious to make today. <sighs> Mostly just because I love the detour so much. Being that full minus two turn, hitting the bridge, disturbing the piece as I've been known to do. All right, Eclipse Detour. <sighs> Look at that thing go. That thing is very, very glidey. It definitely goes a bit farther than the stock one. I'm not sure if it's a little actually touch more flippy than the stock one. I, I need to do some more experimenting with that. And now I've got the most overstable wave to ever have been fabricated by MVP. <clears throat> Holy beefy wave. I have never thrown a wave that, that thing flies like a neutron photon. It's absolutely straight up beef dog. So first impressions are really good. I feel like they knocked the stamps out of the park. Just very spooky, very Halloween themed. Just overall a very fun drop that, and it's something that they've hyped up year over year. And it gets a little bit bigger and more exciting every year. Obviously with Eagle and Simon on the team, it's just gonna continue to grow every year that they come out with the Tour of Terror Discs, doing special molds and special plastics. It's always a fun time. And it's a really fun opportunity for me to be able to be you know, one of the first people to actually test out these discs. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to the stock detour for now. That's gonna have to be a completely separate video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. I'll go play a full round with both discs and see how they stack up. But so far, this pixel is actually money. I'm gonna really trust it on like a, kind of how I feel like Simon would throw a disc like this. Kind of how we would throw the proxy where you just put it up in the air and just let it turn the whole way through the flight. but I guess I'm not huge enough to keep it turning the whole way. That really shows off how stable that new pixel is. I'm actually shocked. I really expect it to be a lot straighter. All right, Eclipse Detour. <clears throat> a little bit nose up on that one. It's going really far. I really love how that detour is flying. That's gonna be a fun video to make comparing the stock to the Eclipse for a full video. All right, let's forehand the Pyro. It's gonna fly the same for me no matter how I backhand it. Okay, so if you get it on Annie, it's gonna hold it for a little bit. I also wanna forehand this wave here. That's the most stable wave ever made by far. That thing is insane. I'm really curious to see if Silva Saarinen bags that because it is so overstable. All right, the headwind is picking up again, so it's gonna be one last great opportunity to see how stable all of these are. Man, this Pixel, it really does just have like a similar feel to me, to just like the Innova Classic AVR. Um, obviously not the plastic, but the shape of the disc is so similar to just, it's got that nice deep dish feel for those of you that do a fan grip or a modified fan grip you're really going to enjoy just the fan grip deep dish kind of throw style with these pixels starting to get it figured out doesn't seem to glide a ton but i just think it's because it's so stable it's a very stable pixel in comparison to my electron firm and electron soft one last forehand with the pyro 
Not sold on that pyro. I like a premium pyro more, mostly just because it's going to be so much more stable. That is definitely my least favorite of all of these drops so far today. If you were gonna skip out on one, it would be that pyro, in my humble opinion. Pick, this is the Detour, James Conrad. You can see that wind really playing with the disc. It's kind of swirly out here because the way the trees are a thing. And we got one last throw for Silva Saarinen from Oiti, Finland. To my Finnish viewers out there, I'm sorry you had to hear me try to pronounce that. But hopefully I don't absolutely eviscerate this guy on the bridge. That is absolutely smacked. I've never been a huge wave guy, but I really, really like that new wave. It's just, it on, I like the photon and honestly that new wave just feels like a premium photon in my opinion. All right guys, that is going to do it for today's test. I'm actually gonna head over to Bradford Disc Golf Course later today, and I'll probably just play the whole course with just these discs. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. That should be the very next video I upload because I believe I'm gonna go do that today, as long as I can find the time to get out there. But just my final breakdown of everything. We've got Fission Pyro. This is going to be my least favorite of the bunch. Um, not because I think it's a bad disc. I just personally prefer other overstable mid-ranges and overstable approach discs. That's just my opinion. Eagle McMahon seems to really love this disc where he wouldn't have chosen it as his mold. But I am shocked he didn't do an Eclipse version. I'm really surprised he did a baseline version. So I do think that was a little interesting choice from Eagle but I do love the artwork and this is probably my favorite stamp of the bunch. So although I won't be throwing it, I will likely collect this disc and keep it just because I really, really like the stamp on there. Now, my next favorite is going to be the Tour of Terror Silva Sarin and Wave. I'm a big photon guy and honestly, this new wave to me just flies like a photon. If you're expecting a flippy stock wave, this is not it. This is the beefiest, beef dog wave of your dreams so if you want if you love the wave but you think it's too flippy for you this is your run this is the stable high parting line flat forehand lovers wave and i think it's a really fun disc to throw and i threw some really far shots with it two of those throws the forehand definitely cleared 400 and the backhand was probably like 390 so i was able to get some good distance out of it some nice good clean rips but oh man look at that i mean the parting line is just so high on this thing this is this is not your everyday man's wave. This is something completely just far meaner than that. Next up, we've got the Eclipse Pixel. I've been waiting for this ever since the original Pixel drop. You can see how deep it is. I do think this feels a little bit deeper in the hand than the Electron Pixels. That's just my opinion. But overall, flying really nice. I'm really excited to continue trying to throw this out on the course. And I do think I'll be able to get some sweet birdies over at Bradford today. But I mean, this is just such a hype disc. I'm so excited to finally have my hands on a premium pixel. It is about darn time MVP. And then last one, this is gonna be my favorite. I have always been a massive James Conrad detour enjoyer. I love the artwork, I love the mold. It flies very similar to the stock run. I think the flight is nothing to write home about, but just the fact that MVP's glow plastic is so good, we're heading into winter. And I know I am plan on starting to play the local Glow League on, I think it's either Tuesday or Thursday night. So I'm really excited for that. And this is a disc that's definitely going to make a very consistent appearance because MVP to some of the best glow in the game. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in the next video and take care.